Hi everyone, welcome back. So previous video, we talked about how to build a simple logistic regression model on the IRIS dataset. However, one issue that we haven't resolved is if you look at the code, the prediction is over the data X, whereas the model is also fitted on data X, meaning that the same X happens in the model fitting process as well as in the prediction process. So this prediction may or may not give us the robust, honest performance that we desire. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about train test split function that give us that desired and robust and honest prediction performance. So the way we do it is to use a train test split, meaning that we're gonna cut the data set X and Y into two subsets. So first things first is I want to import the package. I'm gonna say from scikit-learn model selection, import train test split. This gives me this train test split function of which I can throw in X and Y. So what that look like is I'm gonna call train test split and I'm gonna throw in data that I have, X and Y, and I'm gonna give some sort of percentage as the test set size that I want to hold out. So I'm gonna say test size equal to 0 0.2. This means I'm gonna take 20% of the data from X and Y randomly and assign that as my test set. And of course, uh, this is gonna give you four things, right? And I'm gonna have to type them out so I'm gonna call them X train, X test, Y train, and Y test. Now I run the code, I'm having these four objects ready for me. So quickly take a look at what this thing is. X train, that is the data. However, this is not all the data. Let's take a look at the dimension. This is only 120 rows. The remaining 20%, well, that is the test set data. So we can say x test dot shape, and you can see that here we have 30 rows that is from the test set. So now we can do the same thing. We can build a model, we can train it, and then we can make a prediction. But this time, the prediction that we're gonna do is not on the original training data, it's on the test data. So let's run this lines of code. And here we have this y predict. This is going to be the prediction on the test set. And we compare this with the y test class and we check out the average. That gives us about 96.667% accuracy, meaning that the logical expression coming out of this equation is 96% true. Now that sounds great, right? That means on the held out test set, our performance in terms of accuracy is 96%, which is not that bad. And as you can see that this number is slightly higher than this 97% that we did a little bit earlier. And that is because this 97% is on data set that the model has already seen before. Whereas this 96% is on the data that the model has not yet seen. So in real world, I will bet that this second number is probably more robust and more honest performance than the first one. Hope you like this video and I'll see you guys in the next episode.